Team Up. Hallo miteinander, Sally zusammen und ganz herzlich willkommen bei Card Collectors, eurem Channel für Pokémon Karten in der Schweiz. Mein Name ist Pascal und für das heutige Opening habe ich mir einen ganz speziellen Gast zu Hilfe geholt. Er kommt aus den USA und deshalb wird unser heutiges Opening auf Englisch sein. All right. Hello, Nick. Welcome to Card Collectors. Thank, uh, you. Thank you for having me, Pascal. I appreciate it. Awesome having you here. Uh, tell our viewers a little bit about you and why you're here. Um, and you help me open up those team up boxes. Ah, uh, yes. It's going to be fun. Uh, my name is Nicholas. Uh, I live in the United States. I'm uh, not only an avid uh, Pokemon collector back in the day, I used to have uh, too many cards to count, um, but outside of that I run a YouTube channel that covers uh, things like Bitcoin uh, and other things related to finance. But uh, I'm very excited today to be here to open up the Pokemon box. It's been a while since I've done one and it seems like we've got a really big package to open up and team up on. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, Sun and Moon uh, 9 team up is the newest expansion. Uh, I'm really happy to have you on board because I've been excited for that pack uh, for a long time. Mm -hmm. And it seems like a reasonable thing to do that with me together. You told me you used to collect Pokemon cards as, uh, as a kid as well. Your whole family did. Absolutely. And uh, do you remember when uh, the last time was that you opened a team up box? Let me just oh man, I would say it was camera. at least a decade ago. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, I used to. Uh, what was really nice actually is the first uh, set of Pokemon cards that I really got was uh, my, my brother. He had a huge, um, like, um, huge tubware basket of old cards that he had paid probably hundreds of dollars for and it was, he was nice enough to actually sell it to me for like 15 dollars so oh that's I, that's a that's a good deal i was able uh -huh. to collect them all in one go <laughs> <laughs> gotta catch them all as you know so uh let me tell you first uh, a lot happened since you last opened a pack do you know how to uh, open a pack do you know there's a pack trick really no, yeah no. there is Okay, so what we do, we have uh, 36 boosters all in all, uh, 18 on each side, and there is uh, some cool cards. All, all cards are cool, but there are some secret uh, rare cards hidden in there, oh, some nice. special cards, so we're gonna find out how many there are and what they are. Um, but always, before we, as always, before we start, um, there's something special on this channel, and you know it. Uh, when we uh, open a Pokemon TCG product, we give one card away. So uh, this card uh, is going on our, can we see that here? That's our giveaway tray, the giveaway bench. And uh, by the end of the opening, you and Nick will pick one card that we share with our audience today. Fingers crossed I picked the right one. <laughs> <laughs> Great, so um, let's get the pack, not here in our face, but somewhere here and then uh, let's open the first booster together so we can go through this together right. uh, cool. grab one grab the first you want cool. let's say that out of the face of pikachu uh, and and you'll notice yeah exactly i have uh sacrum pikachu here and you're teaming up with uh, oh actually i think that's a newer one down there exactly yeah but i, <laughs> I know maybe. um what's what is it? it's one of the ghost pokemon exactly um, i'm trying to remember now I'm, I'm terrible in the names of Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll find his card and yeah. then I'll, I'll let you know. So uh, what you do is uh, you, you, t you take your booster and uh, it's easy, always easier to open it from the back, right? Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing right now. Just tear it from the middle. Exactly. And I'll show, uh, exactly, I'll do the same here so we can follow those steps together. Uh, tear from the middle, just break it open. But don't show anything yet. Okay. But they... Dude, they are hard to open today. <laughs> yeah, they definitely they make it a little bit challenging. So, uh, yeah, go ahead. I, I'm not starting yet. You'll notice uh, one card is facing towards you. Mm -hmm. What you want to do is um, uh, flip it or flip the whole deck around first. Oh, wow. Remove the code card. We'll put that aside because we're gonna give them away a little later to our uh, to our viewers. Nice. It's a code card for uh, online TCG. And you guys know that you can unlock some cards in the online TCG. And then for Sun and Moon, there's a pack trick because we don't want to see the rare card popping up first, right? Uh, so what we'll do is we'll count four cards from the back. One, two, oh, three, four. And place them in the front. Okay. Here in the front. And I lost one. This is also going in there. So now we're... Uh, and then we flip it around. And now we're, we're pretty much uh, safe. 
Mm. Exactly. And what do you see as first card? I messed it up. But... <laughs> I only have an energy card. Exactly. So <laughs> nothing fun in that case. But, but uh, that, that means you did everything right. Yep. Energy card is uh, there to start with. And then uh, we slowly go uh, through the cards uh, one by one. Mm. And uh, I have, I got to my energy card as well. I have a Geodude, a Mankey, a Pancham, a Ferrocede, a Pidgeotto, and then at some point you'll get to the uh, Reverse Holo card. At that point you'll just uh, stop for a quick moment. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, I think that's the one, yeah. Ooh. Well, might uh, sharing that with the audience in your camera there. I think I've got another one. Yeah, exactly, but you were, you were too early. Uh -oh. So the the second to last, if you do the part the, the Patrick right, mm -hmm. second to last is going to be the, 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 the reverse holo, which means it has a holo pattern. Here. Ah, okay. Cool. Exactly, and then behind that there's going to be the rare card of the pack. Mm. So um, maybe you want to show your reverse holo because I got mine here. This one? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Hold that into the cam, yeah. So it's a trainer, it's trainer ah, card. Cool. Wait, and your first rare card of the box is? Uh, the first rare card is a uh, uh, Brozong. I yes. Think that, this was one of the ones that came from Di a Diamond and Pearl, right? Exactly. Yeah, the... I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just quickly show it in all of its glory here. A Bronzong is here and it's a regular rare. And uh, mine off the, the, the uh, reverse holo would be, I'm starting off with a Skarmory. Ah, Skarmory, I remember Skarmory. <laughs> <laughs> and they're, they're everywhere in Pokemon Go as well. All right, so now that we've opened the first pack, do you feel confident to do some more? Yeah, Because we got absolutely. a couple more to, to go through. What I suggest is uh, you, you'll, you'll pull them, mm -hmm. you'll open them, do the card trick, and then hand them out to me. To so the floor, I can, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. just, that's right, yeah, we'll make sure people can see it. And, and then I'll, I'll make sure our audience and uh, our friends out there get to see what's, uh, what's actually in those packs, so. Um, there we go. I'll, I'll be a, I'll be a trained uh, Pokemon card opener <laughs> by the end of this. <laughs> exactly. Alrighty. So I take the train card down there. Exactly. Uh, okay. Do four cards to make sure the. I'll show that one first. Uh huh. Perfect. Awesome. Exactly. And then just hand the stack to me, and mm -hmm. um, while you prepare the next one, I'll be showing what we got here. So let's get let's get started. A leaf energy. Well then, Nidorina, Doublet, Fluffy, Meow, Nidoran, Reef, Ferrisseed. Hey, we have a Charmander. I'll hand it out to you. And a the reverse holo is a Mankey. And then our th third rare card is a Pinsir. Great. Do you, I'll, I'll just keep a Charmander on the side of it because you might remember that. All right, thanks. Next pack, let's go. Viridian Forest, Tentacruel, Ingo and Emmet, Meowth, Nidoran, Larvitar, Psyduck, Vulpix, Nanu. Oh, dude. Is, oh, wow. Is this one of the newer Pokemon? I haven't seen this one. It is. It is. It is one of um, the final evolutions of the starters. It's Incineroar, and it starts off as Litten, like a small little kitten. And then it grows into that amazing Incineroar. And this is one amazing card. Do you know why? It It is a full art card. That means uh, the, whole, the, the whole card is uh, is filled out as, as opposed wow. to, for example, that one. You see, yeah. this only has a small, but this is full art. And this, this is an amazing Incineroar. And it has a, it has texture. This this is this might actually already be one of the super cards from wow. the set. So you already dug into that. Congratulations. That is one beautiful card. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fire cat. Interesting. So was, you said it was one of the starter Pokemon in like the newest generation? Exactly. And in, in Sun and Moon, uh, you, cool. you get to, to, to pick just on this camera as well because uh, it's just so... Uh, can't get enough of that. Great. Yeah. All right. So this is definitely one for, uh, for the bench here. Uh, I'll just line up our pulls here for everyone to see like the, the real cool cards are coming here. One of the here. good openings. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Are coming here on the bench and then uh, at the end, well, by the end of the, the video. All right. Good. All right. So we... Yes, let's... Well... Start it off with a bang. Oh, and here's Litten. That's uh, is that the earlier yeah, version? That's the ah. earlier version. And that's why it starts off as, and then it grows into that badass Incineroar. <laughs> <laughs> All 
He's no longer a kitten. <laughs> he definitely is not. We have a reverse holo, executor, and oh, this is a, again a holo. It's Zangus, and uh, it has the nice swirling holo pattern on it. So great. Pool number two for today. Dude, we're, we're on a run we're here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Could you please always up, open up, help me yeah, out? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm, I'm the good luck charm. <laughs> Let's see. All right. We got another pack. Speaking here. of charms, thank you. Uh, tell me a little bit. Uh, I'll take those cards off mm -hmm. from your hands and you'll tell me a little bit about the Pokemon oh. you see here. I, I give him Charmander. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. Uh, um, Pascal gave me Charmander because... Uh, my brother had like uh, I think he had the legendary version of Charizard and he won it in a competition when he actually used to play Pokemon um, But yeah, then I always uh, I usually either always chose Bulbasaur or Charmander if I ever played Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, looks, uh, yeah. I have to interrupt for a very important another, Is this another, another <laughs> Look at that, wow. This is a uh, team up card and team up cards are so amazingly uh, The detail gorgeous. on that. The detail is crazy and uh, it, it features two Pokemon. Uh, so in this case we have... Oh, so it's like a, it's a tag team card where basically like it's two Pokemon in one? It is, it's just like us being on the camera and uh, if if you had to pick one, I guess ah. you'd be the Eevee while well, I'd be the Snorlax. <laughs> yeah, right. But this is, a, is, is, this, is, this, is this us uh, right now, Eevee and Snorlax in a tech team? Yeah, it could be. That's fun. Yeah, but that's, uh, that's one of the real super, uh, super powerful cards right now. Uh, uh, but also a gamble, because if you play one of them and you lose it, uh, your opponent takes three prize cards oh, in exchange. Really? So um, it's, but, but I'd play it. It's, it's just beautiful. So one more pull. Absolutely, that's cool. I had no idea they had uh, dual cards like that where you could have two Pokemon and one. I, I could see how that would add for some interesting gameplay because, you know, instead of just having one Pokemon, you can add a lot of interesting combinations. So, that's really cool. And not to mention the design is really nice on that. Yeah, it really is. All right, so. How are we continuing, so? <laughs> Let's see here. There we go. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. All right, let's just... Oh, look, and then I found Taracat as well. And Taracat is uh, the second evolution. This so we've got all three evolutions. Yeah, exactly. We've got all three evolutions. Um, I'll just put them here so we have the family together. Here, a little bit on the side. Oh, no. I messed... Sorry, I messed up your stack. I messed up your stack. But we're fine. Jinx, Hitmonlee, Bronzor, Dratini. And then we continue with Tentacool, Punita, uh, Lowland Grimer, uh, uh, reverse Holo Zero Aura, which is gorgeous, and this is, I think it's one of the first sets uh, that features uh, the legendary Pokemon Zero Aura. Ah. Makes for a really nice uh, reverse Holo, and then our rare is going to be a Lowland Marowak. So, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, you're, you're pretty good. You can I'm getting that better at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting pretty fast at it. Kangaskhan, Heliolisk, Sabrina's Suggestion. Let's just uh, swell through these cards. There's been so many awesome cards already. A reverse holo of a Squirtle and then of oh, Blastoise. Get you these two to talk about as well. Mm -hmm. I'll continue here on the opening. Nita, Nidorina, Doublade, Cosmetic. Oh, no way, yeah, it's a ton of, like, the original starter Pokemon, you know, Blastoise, Squirtle. I feel bad because I was talking up Charmander and Bulbasaur. <laughs> yeah, now they're coming back to hunt you. Right? Yeah, exactly, they're like, what did you say, Nick? <laughs> Why didn't you pick us? <laughs> no, yeah, I, I, it's funny because I played through all versions. I had, like, um, Blue, um, uh, and it was um, uh, Pokemon Blue, Red. All oh, yeah, that's, I think that's how we all started mm -hmm. years ago. Articuna, a beautiful Articuna. Thank you. So where am I? Mm -hmm. Continuing next, Nick, here. Mm -hmm. You're, are you confident there is some good pulls in there? I have a feeling. Good. Mon Lee, Donna, Kabuto, Honech, Weedle. Oh, that is one cute Weedle with the sun shining and the slack up in the background. God, these, these artworks are just sometimes... Oh, look, and that's a prism card. Ooh. I'm not a TCG player, so I can't quite tell you what they are. Um, please, if you know what uh, Prism cards are good for, let me know down there in the comments. Thank you. And we finished this pack off with a Prime Ape. Good, let me just... I'll, t I'll do one more, then I'll do a little bit of cleanup. Cool. Oh, and you're far ahead already, right? Yep, I've okay, got one more right. <laughs> this, We'll have one more afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Rapidash, 
return label Kang's camp. Yeah, uh, if you were, oh, look at this. And we have a rare Zero Aura. Oh, nice. So is it a little bit different than the other one we had? I think, uh, ah, we have both of them now. Well, we this, got double, is, there we go. Yeah, exactly. This one is the reverse holo, while this is the holo form. Oh. Both are amazing pulls. Thank you. Awesome stuff. I'm here. All right, the last pack. Exactly, before <laughs> before we clean up and uh, then do the rest. All yeah, right. sure, right, it's just, I gotta get a better system to 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 order uh, to, to to sort the cards here because it's, oh yeah, it's a lot of cards we have to go through by the end. So, do you remember uh, Dragonair? Dragonair, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's a beautiful design on the card too. Dragonair, Dragonair, oh, oh, sorry to interrupt again, but we oh. did it again. <laughs> oh my gosh, we got another great card. Yeah, Look at that. Another great <laughs> card. That is one amazing hoop and it's a Jax card, which means, uh, as always, strong with 190 HP. And this is some stunning artwork. Absolutely. This is. I'll hand it to you while I clean up my workspace a little bit. That. Yeah. That's incredible. Have you ever uh, played uh, Hoopa? Have you played the generations where Hoopa was in, or do you, no. what? What, do you, what kinds of uh, versions do you remember playing? Diamond and Pearl were the last ones that I I remember playing mm -hmm. and stuff. So that had um, uh, what was the uh, like the legendary that everyone always tried to get in the Pokemon game um, on Diamond and Pearl? You ha you had to work really hard to get it. It was uh. like not not Geardus. Um, I can't remember. Yeah, Gyarados is always great. Standing up there. Yeah, Gyarados uh, is the blue, yeah the water Pokemon. Uh -huh. Yeah, there was this one. It was like a dark Pokemon, um, but it was like a it was the rarest Pokemon you could get in Diamond and Pearl. I can't remember. One of the yeah. And maybe if you guys can remember it, mm -hmm. leave it in the comments because <laughs> <Yeah>. I'm, <laughs> I'm I'm struggling to remember my Pokemon names. But that is a wonderful card. It sure is. So it goes straight to our pools. We'll need more space for our pools, but. Um, Let's continue. I'm, I'm all set. Let's all go right. on to the next ones. All right. Let's open up a new pack here. Let's, let me do one as well. I love this artwork of uh, Celebi and uh, Venus. Oh, yeah. So I'll just go ahead and open it on my That It's funny. That was actually the one Pokemon I've probably played the, um, played the most. Um, because I spent, starting here. <laughs> I spent like countless hours. Oh, here, I'll go ahead. Teach, <laughs> teach me how to do it, please, because I'm struggling with the most basic there task of opening a, a booster. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, Grass memory, Kakuna, Geodude, Paris, Joltik, Blizzle, Squirtle, A, another uh, Prism card, Wondrous Labyrinth. Pretty as it is, and an Absol. Uh, this is Absol. Oh, Absol, yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and it is a it is a hollow card. Wow, look at this. Yeah. Oh, I love the design on that. Yeah. Right. That's pretty good. 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 So even the second half, starting off with a banger. Wow. Nice. Absol goes to our pulls. I'll need more space for our pulls, and this is gonna be. A lot to sort through by the end. Yeah, to get wow. all these like you know special cards in the pack that we have gone yeah. through so far. I mean that's amazing. All right, going on, pulling on. Electric Charger, Charmeleon, Paris, Ponyard, Staryu, Ponedge, A or Reverse. I mean these these cards really get me. I mean the Reverse Holo Pattern. For a little nine tails, and then we have a Kabutops, and I'm sure you remember that one, um, Kabutops. Yeah, Kabutops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and, and I think at some point in the game you'll have to choose uh, whether you go for Kabut for for one of the two fossils. Mm -hmm. uh, do you remember if you picked Kabutops or uh, went for the the other one? I think I did Kabutops. Yeah. There you Thank go. Yeah. Fire energy, Taurus Persian, and uh, well, Taurus. Uh, funny fact about Taurus here. Um, it's uh, in Pokemon Go. It's exclusive to North America. No way. Yeah, exactly. So, um, so, do you play Pokemon Go? You know, it's funny. I had a lot of friends who did, and I never really got the time to try it out. Um, I know it's it, what's nice is there's still an active community where I live um, in uh, uh, towards the east coast of the U.S. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of people who still play it in some of the major cities nearby. But um, it was incredible when I mean when it came out, everyone was just rushing through the streets, you know, That's playing. Do you remember? Do you remember when it was? 2016, I believe. Yeah, in the it was summer a, of 16. Yeah, I had so many friends who uh, 
Uh, basically, we're going around chasing the same Pokemon. It was a legendary that hit the city. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it was really funny. <laughs> Let's see here. A nice uh, reverse Hello Pidgeot and a rare Pidgeot. So we got both of them in one pack, which cool. is always fun. Not not really necessary, but fun. All right. I'll go on. Yeah. Yep. Let's do that. Good. Psychic energy. Very promising Kangaskhan, Kazmoem, Hitmonchan, Pidgey, Thorn Edge, Nidoran, Magikarp, Puchiana, Heliolisk, and a Alolan Executor. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Alright, and we continue. So for Pokemon Go, I, I still played. I have uh, actually card collectors. Um, we're here with a couple of friends. Uh, I'm sure you you know uh, Sa Sarah and Sandra, oh, who yeah, are also yeah. also called card collectors. They they'll be doing the next video actually. I'm mm -hmm. looking forward to that to see what they unbox because uh, our uh, viewers, our friends uh, on the other side of the camera, are going to decide what we're going to unbox next after this. And uh, this is uh, going to be the task for. Sarah and Sandra, too. You got lots yeah. to unbox. <laughs> <laughs> Just pick one and let us know. Win the card that um, Nick will um, eventually announce. And then, and then uh, we will do that. Tweedle again, Volibi, Dratini, Honech, and a Zip Strike. Uh, Get one more. Can mm -hmm. I take one of these? Absolutely. Awesome. Awesome. This is just so efficient. Thanks for doing that. No, no problem. <laughs> it's it's, uh, it's good practice. So how do you, uh, what do you usually talk about on, on your videos, on your channel, um, Nick? Yeah, yeah. What is it called? Uh, the channel I run is called Data Dash, mm -hmm. um, and I usually talk about um, something known as cryptocurrency. Uh, you might have heard about Bitcoin before. It's a new form of digital money, uh, and interestingly enough, on some uh, websites online where you can buy Pokemon cards, you could probably pay in Bitcoin. So it's similar to using uh, maybe, for example, dollars that you would usually use. Um, we're sending money through maybe PayPal. I think I used to always use PayPal when I had <laughs> sure. my cards on eBay. <laughs> would would you guys pay for your Pokemon cards in Bitcoin? If you had some Bitcoin on the side, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure I would. Absolutely. What, what, what could be an advantage of uh, paying, um, paying your cards uh, by a Bitcoin? What's nice about that is that it, uh, it settles um, relatively um, quick in the sense, not to mention, uh, with Bitcoin, uh, it's simply just gathering the address that you could send uh, your Bitcoin to, or basically the destination of where you'd like to send your Bitcoin. And once you have that address from the company website, uh, the payment can go through. Not to mention as well, sometimes I, I remember I'd have some things I'd buy online and my, my credit card would reject it sometimes. Or oh, my, my we, we're all being there. Yeah, yeah right? <clears throat> and uh, because of that, it's sometimes good to... Uh, have something like Bitcoin where once you send it and it's final, it's final. So you can get what you're looking for. Exactly, and you get to keep your cards, mm -hmm. which you all want to do. So reverse Nidorino and a Galvantula. Always a good card to play. Okay. Thank you, Nick. Mm -hmm. We have a Nanu, Farfetch'd, Klefki, a Charmander again, Mankey. A Litten, a Molga, a Black Market Prism card. Mm. Nice. I love the shine on it. Yeah. It's got so many colors. And then we're finishing things off with Mimikyu. What do you know about Mimikyu? What strikes you when you see when you see the card? Mimikyu. Uh, I like the name Mimikyu. <laughs> I, I can't remember. Was this, was this from Diamond Pearl? Is this one of the newer... Um... Well, I noticed it looks like Pikachu. That's the funny part. Yeah, the funny yeah. part is it uh, looks like Pikachu. Do you know why it looks like Pikachu? Uh, no, why is that? I, th I think it might be the saddest story in all of the Pokemon universe. Apparently, Mimikyu itself is so horrifying in its appearance and so ugly that people actually die from seeing it. Yeah, right? That's really tra <laughs> that's that's tragic. It's, really, it's tragic. Uh, and thus, uh, it can't show itself in its real form. Uh, to, to people or, or to other Pokemon. That's why it chose uh, to dress up, right? To, to hide its, its its ugly appearance. At least Ditto like kind of molds into its surroundings. <laughs> Ditto becomes whatever it wants. <laughs> My parents told me I could become anything, so I became, <laughs> no, I became a Diglett, not a Ditto. But that's probably what they said to Ditto. You can be anything. And Ditto said, 
<laughs> sure I can. Sure I can. <laughs> no, and so um, to to go come back to Mimikyu, what Mimikyu did. We'll get to that right after. What did we get? Oh, hey, that was the um, uh, th we had that uh, earlier. It's oh Gengar. That's what yes. it is. Yeah, Gengar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, here is that card. Uh, here, here's the the, the booster pack uh, part, uh, artwork from before. Let's see if the camera can catch that. There it's we go. Gengar and Mimikyu, and uh, as I said, we're getting back to that card. That's a cool tag yeah. team. Yeah, <laughs> it, it sure is. Exactly. Uh, going right back to Mimikyu. So it's dressing up as Pikachu. Why does uh, it do that? Because uh, it knows Pikachu. Our good friend here is uh, one of the most popular Pokemon. So he thought, well, if I look more like Pikachu, people will actually like me, right? <laughs> so uh, it looks like Pikachu, but it's not. It's a, it's a bit like Pikachu, but uh, I wonder what's underneath that rug. But um, mm -hmm. I hope it really makes some friends. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Every Pokemon deserves friends. Yeah, they all deserve that. Grass memory. Uh, and then there's the other Charmander artwork. Star you many first generation Pokemon. Do you, do you remember what your what your team was back in the games? How did oh, you try yeah. to set up your team? Uh, definitely depending on what uh, Pokemon game I played, mm -hmm. but I would always I usually tend to do as I mentioned earlier, like a grass type, because mm -hmm. um, I felt I always found that there was a lot of ways to counter the fire type later down the road. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> not with grass though, right? Yeah, yeah, it was, it's yes, exactly. You can't use grass exactly. <laughs> So you had to, uh, I would always teach them a mixture of uh, not only grass-based attacks that were really good, but also um, normal ones as well, so they could still be effective. Oh, right. Yeah, very good. Um, um, outstanding move. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can't, I'm trying to think outside of that. I was really, I, I liked a lot of the starter, like, Pokemon, like, um, like, uh, Pid, uh, Pidgeot and... Yeah, sorry. Oh, did we get? A <laughs> yeah, give me. A, <laughs> we, can, we can totally do a high five on that one. Oh, Because wow. that is one of the legendary... And it's Cobalion, yeah. Ah. And it's just such a gorgeous card and such an awesome. My God, this <laughs> this this pack is. I mean, this box is treating us so incredibly well. I don't think I've ever had so many so good pulls. Yeah, dude, that's incredible. I lo I do love not only the. It's really nice when you have a good mixture of the artwork and mm -hmm. that kind of chromified texture mm -hmm. on it as well. Interesting. Absolutely stuff. gorgeous that Cobalion. But we were interrupting your team build. Oh, no, no, no. I, so basically, I always liked, um, uh, usually, uh, the, the bird Pokemon that you could usually get at the start, uh, and emeralds. And, yeah. And so. uh -huh. always, you mean the usual, because mm -hmm. the bird is always going to be one of the first? Exactly, yeah. yeah. And I, oh, I just always, like, yeah, whatever kind of bird Pokemon that usually you'd find in the wild at first, um, and I would focus on trying to have another second strong Pokemon in those kind of, like, dire si situations where my leading Pokemon wasn't enough. So outside of that, though, I mean, I, yeah, it varied between games. It was there's there's so many Pokemon to keep up with, but mm -hmm. I always try to focus on evolving each and every type. Do you know how many Pokemon are out there right now? Oh, um, I would assume it's near a thousand, close to it. I think we're getting close. Yeah, pretty much. I think we might be stuck around. Do you, do you know the exact figure? I think it's uh, eight hundred and seventy one right now. Wow, I remember because yeah, Diamond and Pearl I thought was around like five hundred to six hundred. So I guess with I guess there's maybe been is there two new generations after Diamond and Pearl? Diamond and Pearl and what came after was was Black and White was later, right? Mm -hmm. And that was X and Y as well. Yeah. And so then we had Sun and Moon. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Yeah, I have some reading and some catching up to do. <laughs> and uh, catching them all is... Catching them all, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's it's even one. more work to catch them all. <laughs> oh, here's the... On the cover here, this is the same card that we got and stuff, the combo between Snorlax. Do you and... see the resemblance? Yeah, that's <laughs> I cool. mean, between them and us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool, this is like a different type of Charmander. Oh yeah, did you find the other Charmander? There's, yeah. I think there's two artworks. It's really nice. That That's the cool thing as well, I think, with Pokemon cards that's become more common is having different designs and artwork. And um, I think that's just, it's nice to have that and stuff. It gives you more to collect, but also um, more awesome designs to admire and appreciate. We, I think Pascal and I were talking about that the other day and stuff, just having different artist perspective on what a Pokemon would look like. Yeah, exactly. I, I like uh, that there are different art styles and mm. different drawing styles and even the, the occasional really oddball. Yeah, right? Alrighty. So let's, go, let's continue here with uh, electric energy. Commander, 
are you a Litten, Zorua, the Weevil, Persian, in Reverse Holo, and the Nido King. Always a good addition to any team as a normal Pokemon. Mm -hmm. I like Nido King. So let's see what we got here. Energy. Do you have one uh, particular Pokemon that was always part of your team when you were fighting? Like one you'd always, always. Oh, uh, that you carry through the generations. Yeah. Oh, no. oh wait. <laughs> That's an awesome design. Wow. Wow. Wait, so what's the other Pokemon? Uh, Zekrom? Yes. Is that how you pronounce it? Exactly. Oh. That's Zekrom. And this might be... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just take a second to marvel at that card. Look at its texture. Look at how it's built up. Look at the incredible shine. This is called a Rainbow Rare card. And I think in every uh, four or five boxes or so, there might be one Rainbow Rare card hidden. Mm-hmm. Just, it's incredible! Wow, okay. that's a team I wouldn't want to mess with. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those but, two, electric yeah. and deadly. And I think I still have uh, one of these tins laying around here as well. Because uh, right now, the big one of the the other big things here is uh, the tag team tins. Right, uh, we opened them uh, two videos ago. Um, and peeked inside and this is also uh, one of these tech teams with uh, Pikachu and Zekrom. So this is the promo card, it's stunning, it's absolutely oh, beautiful. So this is another version of that. And this is another version of it. And let's, cool. let's just hold that into the camera once more. So here is uh, the regular tech team and then our Pikachu and Zekrom GX. This is one for the books, guys. This is an absolute stunning card and it will take the middle spot here for us. Great, how are we doing? How are we keeping up? Um, I think we're doing good. I think okay. this is, uh, we've got three more, uh, actually four more packs to do. All right, let's uh, go through them and then I think what we all want to know is what are we gonna give away? Because there's so much choice right now. Mandibus. Right. I'll pick one. And you'll have me the second to last one at the last one so we can finish off on a high note, right? Mm -hmm. You'll be the decider. All right, Tentacle, Paras, Ponyard, Staryu, Kabuto. This, I, I, I don't even know. I don't even know what's happening. So this is another Full Art card, and it's called Full Art Trainers card, and they're also super rare. Um, uh, an absolutely beautiful, stunning artwork. We have Nanu here, and the uh, funny thing is, in German, Nanu is a uh, what? But, <laughs> and this was exactly what I was thinking when I opened this. Uh, it's Nanu, like, what? Another, <laughs> another amazing full art card. Uh, we're really lucky. We're really lucky. We have a lot really of well. great opens. Great. Wow. Well, thank you for uh, setting that up. No, no problem. Uh, wow. Two more packs. <laughs> Two more packs. Okay. Fingers so <laughs> even even if we don't pick up anything anymore, I'm 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 more than happy with what we pulled so far. This is just simply amazing, mind blowing. This is this is this is might be one of the best one of the best boxes I've ever had, and I have some more boxes uh, on stock. So uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna open up another one. Uh, just 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 to get more awesomeness. Okay. Last one. Last one. Yeah, let's high five for a tag team. Nick, thank you very much for all the preparation. You now officially know how to open up. <laughs> open up Pokemon cards, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And uh, well, you blessed us with uh, you blessed us with some great, great pulls. So, uh, Lavita, Pancham, a uh, Reverse Holo and a Zoroark to finish things off. This was our last card. It's a regular rare and I'm not even mad because this was an amazing opening. Let's quickly go through all the pulls one more time. Pikachu is as excited as we are. Um, and um, then once we've gone through all of them, I'll let you pull one and, and you'll, you'll say which one uh, we're giving away and you'll say why we're doing that and uh, then well, the call will be yours, so let's all go right. through all the pulls again. We have a full art trainer of Nanu. I'll, I'll, you know what, I'll hand them to you. Ah, oh, okay. We have a Aegislash. We have Copalion. 
Isn't that cool? There's a mm -hmm. Hollow Dragonite. And there's our Hoopa GX, which is a, a very, very nice uh, artwork. We have Zeraora in its holo pattern. We have Zeraora in its reverse holo, which we'll put on the side there. And there is a nice Tag Team GX of Eevee and Snorlax. Mm. We have Absol, a rare. We have Zangu's rare. We have that incredible Incineroar, and this was new to you, right? Yeah. So Incineroar, and not only that, we have the whole evolution line of Incineroar with. Um, can you read their 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 names again, maybe? Mm -hmm. uh, Tora Cat and is it Litten? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is Lit, and it is Litten. Oh, it's a, it's a kitten <laughs> Litten. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And then uh, Gengar Mimikyu, and to finish things off, that absolutely amazing, breathtaking Pikachu and Zekrom GX card. So, the call is yours. Here are all the cards. Which one are we going to share with all our right. viewers today? Well, I know that I want to give away one of these uh, uh, GX cards or tag team cards. All right, all right. So, we've got really, I will go ahead and showcase. These are my final six that I'm looking at here. <laughs> okay, these, okay. Are these your final six? <laughs> these are my final six cards. So I think uh -huh. I'm really wanting to give away this one, if uh -huh. that's possible. I think this is a really cool design, as Pascal was mentioning. Mm -hmm. I think the card is a beautiful design. Uh, but at the same time as well, I mean, I really like the one from Hoopa and 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 Sin and and Sinaror. I guess you're, oh, you're right. the native. Yes, that's right. I know that's, that's bad when I don't know how to pronounce <laughs> these, and they're predominantly in English. Uh -huh. um, I don't know, and I like Kabalion as well. I really love the not only the Pokemon itself, but I mean the design of the card and stuff looks really neat. So. I guess we're gonna have to come to a decision. Exactly between the two of those. Can I make your decision? Okay, let's just yeah. Go. There we go. So we're definitely getting a absolute banger for uh, to give away. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking um, we're, we're doing two things, right? Either mm -hmm. it's going to be Pikachu and Zekrom, mm -hmm. or then we're gonna do the whole evolutionary ah, line yeah, of, yeah. Uh, of a. Um, the three evolutions. The three evolutions. Things. That would be awesome. Okay, so um, both cards are going to to go at, at some point. Um, so one is going to be gifted, and I think we will sell the other one on our uh, online shop. We have an online store, cardcollectors.ch, mm -hmm. where we have all our pulls sold, where we have uh, fresh packs, team up, you can get your team up boosters as well. And I think it would be a good thing to just sell one of these sets, uh, to sell one of these cards, uh, the one we're not giving away, and uh, use the money to do something uh, like for charity or mm -hmm. something. You, I'm sure you have some idea on where, where we spend. So I'll get back to you. So both cards are going away. Um, Nick is going to show his finger. Uh, he's going to pull one card. Uh, he's going to set... I think we'll just have them both here. And, and, and you'll um, use Pikachu to indicate which one you will keep here. And the other ones are going onto our web store where you can buy them. And everything we earn with it will be going to charity. So other people, maybe less fortunate people, will also have something from this awesome opening. So... Nick, which one's it gonna be? Which one are we gonna give away for our channel right now? I think we will do the three pair over here to give all away. All right, all right. So guys and girls, these are the cards you were looking for. These are uh, the cards you will, uh, you'll have the chance to win if you follow us on our Instagram and if you vote, if you make a comment and vote on what pack you want to see open next on our channel, opened by Sarah and Sandra. So this is our giveaway card. And this one, well, good, very good choice. Just, just take another glance at it because it's, it's an amazing card. We will it sell is. that. I will let you know how much money we raised with it and then we will announce what the funds are going to. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. I think it would be awesome to, to you know, see uh, you know, what we could do and stuff for charity. And mm -hmm. you know, that's always a good cause and stuff. Mm -hmm. We knew Pokemon helping out with charity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, Pokemon helping. And <laughs> you're helping by watching the channel, by subscribing, uh, leaving us a quick hello. Let us know how you like this episode. And thank you again, Nick, for being here. Your next station is? I'm going off to Sydney, Australia. So. Wow. Where is that in? Oh, that's so far yeah, away. It is very far away. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, so. a quick shout out to Australia. I think uh, Unlisted Leaf uh, is somewhere there. Um, Unlisted Leaf, if you see us. 
Hello uh, to you. I'll send Nick over. Maybe he can help you get some cool <laughs> polls. All right. Thank you very much. Let's go. Uh, thank you. Nick, appreciate absolute it. pleasure. And we'll see you on Instagram. Link Bye, is everyone. In our video. Bye, everyone.